Today I'm going to be making a video different than what type of videos I usually make and I'm going to be showing you how to export your DS save files on Delta emulator because I've seen videos of people doing like SNES games or GBA games but I've never seen anyone properly talk about these. So I am going to show you how to do that. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is physically save in the game. If uh, you haven't already done that. I already have. Um, it depends on the game, really, you're playing. But right here, you can see I've got a save file and I've got stuff on it. So if you don't know, how to save uh this is specifically for pokemon but any game where you can save it should save so just hit x in this game specifically and however you save it in the game just save the game all right game saved so go back to main menu and like hold on the game and you're gonna hit manage save file and then export save file. I already have this save file right here so I'm not gonna actually export it but you're gonna want to do that and hit the save button. So you will notice whenever you get, you open your files app and get to the transport saves um, that the Pokemon um, or like whatever game it is, the format, the DSV format, is different than most game saves, which are the .sav, like for Mother 3 on Game Boy Advance. And I am going to show you how to change that. So what you're going to want to do is go to this, the link I have in the description, and... Um, this is a website I found that will convert your saves. So, like, go to choose file. And I would hit that one. And it will say the DSV format. And it'll ask you which one you want to convert it to. Um, I don't think there's a difference between the SAV and the no GBA or whatever one. Um, because I've tried them both and they both work fine for me. So just make sure it says one of those and hit the convert button. This website is really slow sometimes, but I do, I promise it works. Um, and yeah, save it. And it should like redirect you just to like, uh, yeah, and it'll ask you to download it and hit download and there you go and it should be in your downloads now all right so whatever reason i was trying to do this through my chromebook but it was not the screencast wasn't working and i couldn't transfer it to my phone um, so you'll have to go for worse quality, so I apologize, but, um, this right here is my SD card for my DS, my, my R4 card for my DS, and if you go down here, you can see that I have Pokemon Platinum, and I don't have a save file for it. So, I am going to go back to this, and I am going to take the save file. Oh, really quick thing. Make sure this has the exact same name as whatever ROM you're using. Like, what I would do is copy and paste the name of the ROM and 
uh, double tap, hit rename, and just replace it with whatever that name is, because otherwise it will not see as a save file. So you need to go to wherever you're, you're gonna, you have your game and the saves, if it's on Twilight menu, um, just drag it over there and copying complete. So we're gonna eject it and go back to my DS. All right, I am now on my DS to demonstrate my save file. So I'm gonna go to my NDS. I'm gonna go to my Pokemon and go on over to Pokemon Platinum. I haven't booted this game up, so it's gonna take a sec. Hit start. And it kept my save file from the game. As you can see, it's the exact spot I saved. And I'm in here and everything seems to be working properly. So I hope this tutorial helps. Um, hope it educates a couple people because I, kn I had to figure out how to do this by myself. Um, and I don't want it to be like that for everyone because it was actually really tricky. So yeah, I hope this helps. Um, if you're still here, thank you for watching until the end of the video. And if you like this, um, kind of content, just let me know in the comments because I would honestly like to do, um, more content sort of like this. So yeah, thank you.